so in the technologically advanced world of today technical drawings with engineering graphics and design employs every important cognitive and manipulative skill in order to aid engineering graphical communication which uses lines dimensions scales symbols and signs to illustrate how a product process service and system looks and work okay so once again i would like to tell you that uh, um, try to understand uh, in the technologically advanced world of today technical drawing with engineering graphics and design employs every important and cognitive manipulative skill in order to aid the graphical communication graphical communication what that graphical communication is using it is using lines okay to draw any figure you need some lines okay that line must be having some dimensions okay scales suppose i want to uh, make a building or make an automobile okay so what will be the actual length and what will we are going to represent it on the paper okay so there the concept of scaling comes into the picture we are using many symbols there are some standard symbols of components um, so we can use some symbols in our drawings also some sign conventions are there to illustrate what we want to illustrate how the product process service and system looks and work okay so now you are in a state that you can give the definition of engineering graphics let's see how we are going to define it engineering graphics can be defined as a graphical language now this is this point is clear that it is a graphical language that gives a precise pictorial expression of engineering structure and is used to make communication okay that language is used to make some communication possible between a designer and other people who might not necessarily be an engineering professional suppose you are going to buy some electronic components nowadays okay so you will see a product catalog inside uh, the box that uh, you buy okay suppose a mobile phone you buy a mobile phone inside that a product catalog is there in that product catalog you will see the detailed drawing of the component whether it can be a mobile phone it can be a refrigerator because that refrigerator can be made up in india or it can be imported from other countries like south korea or japan or any other country so there the people used to know japanese or maybe if they are following international standard uh, they can understand english in 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 our side okay we know hindi telugu or tamil or english okay but suppose we don't know the language of each other then how we will communicate the product developed by some other country okay or the product developed by our own country how we are going to sell our product to some different country where the people don't know about our language so for the assembly of the product we need to give the graphical information that you often have seen in the product catalog okay this is what is written here okay it is a graphical language that gives a precise pictorial expression of engineering structure uh, that is used to make communication between designers and other people who might not necessarily be engineering professional okay so the buyer end they may not be a technical professional okay they just want to use that product that's it okay so the other people might not be necessarily be an engineering professional okay so in such a way you have to give your graphical information that it all the information must be clear to each and every one so engineering graphics which usually provides detail that cannot be derived from engineering cal calculation 
uh, helps to convey idea to the people and convert concepts into reality in draft, illustrations, uh, drawing uh, that follow universally accepted codes, criteria, and convention. Okay, so we have to follow some standard uh, codes, criteria, and conventions to draw that diagram. So it will be easier for us to understand or to give the information regarding that product. So this is the definition of our engineering graphics. Now, what is the purpose of technical drawing? To appreciate the need of technical drawing, one must understand the design process. The design process in a, is an orderly systematic procedure used in accomplishing a needed design. Okay, what is design process? It is an orderly systematic procedure used in accomplishing a needed design. Every product, suppose this uh, mouse is there is in my hand. This is a wireless mouse. Okay, so uh, some engineer or some person must have designed it. Okay, so every designing of every component, you must have to follow certain process. Okay, some systematic procedure is there to accomplish the needed design. What are the process? We will go in detail. Okay, in later classes, don't worry about that. But uh, try to understand what I'm trying to say you. Okay. <clears throat> Any product that is to be manufactured, fabricated, assembled or constructed, built, or subjected to any type of conversion process. Okay, conversion process means, uh, suppose I have told you that uh, in uh, any manufacturing industry, you will see uh, the engineers, manufacturing engineers, they have some drawing in their hand. Okay, so that engineer has to convert that drawing into the actual component using different manufacturing processes. So here conversion is taking place. Okay, from drawing to the actual component using some manufacturing process, okay. So for any conversion process, design is a must. Now, what is design? Design is what will be its dimension. Like suppose if any person has designed this mouse, he must be aware of what is the palm length of general people. He must have done sur some survey uh, through which our fingers will be comfortably placed on this mouse, okay. So there are many constraints. I have told you just one of them, okay. Now, what is the application of this technical drawing? It has many applications. Okay, they are needed uh, in any setting which involves design and in any subsequent form of conversion process that I have told you. The most common application of technical drawing can be found in the field of uh, manufacturing, engineering, and construction. Okay, for instance, uh, a surveyor, a civil engineer, or the sanitarians use this technical drawing to document such work as a layout of new subdivisions or the marking of boundaries for a piece of property. Contractor or construction personals use this technical drawing as a blueprint in converting this design into reality. Okay, suppose... Uh, now, here the example that I have taken, it is for civil engineers, uh, but it is applicable and everyone must have gone through it. Suppose you or your parents are now deciding to buy one apartment. So you will go to visit uh, any builder, any society, okay. So the first thing what they will do, they will give you one product catalog. In that product catalog, the 2D drawing of the apartment that where is, will be your bedroom, what will be the size of the bedroom, where will be the windows, where is the balcony, where is the kitchen, everything will be depicted in 2D as well as 3D figures. Okay, even though they will show you a, a real go through of that uh, any sample apartment, they will give you one product catalog also so that when you go home, you, you have a clear picture inside your head. Okay. Like that, they will give you some uh, uh, software go through of that apartment also. So how these things are coming? Okay, for going through that virtual tour of the apartment, okay, 
some definitely some uh, video animation creator have drawn that that animation creator must be having that 3d figure of the apartment okay so that will be built by some cad engineer okay that 2d drawings or that 3d drawings so this is the application of technical drawing i have taken a common example in construction industry but it is applicable to each and every sector okay so now i can see this gdm gdm is the short form of your subject that is graphics and design modeling is nothing but you have to think and analyze okay what do you have to think suppose i tell you to uh, bring bring a, a 2d representation of any component suppose i have a bottle a water bottle in my hand okay and i this is a 3d object 3d component okay it has dimensions in all the three coordinates x y and z axis i will tell you to draw the 2d representation of this component on a piece of paper so then you have to think how it will look when i will see it from the front how it will look when i will look it from the top okay how it will look when i look it from the left hand side it will look from the right hand side and every views that you are getting top view front view side view okay that you will draw on a piece of paper okay so this is from 3d to 2d 3d real object to 2d drawing on a piece of paper so for this you have to think okay and the manufacturer the person that will get that drawing he he will see that 2d drawing and he will analyze how i have to manufacture this component so this gdm will give you a idea of how to think and analyze to bring the conversions from your idea to the drawing to the drawing to the actual component